Hi beautiful souls, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing very well today. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the five most common non-vegan ingredients in our everyday cosmetics. Just to make it loud and clear because I feel like there's still a lot of confusion in this area as well, a natural and clean and green cosmetics does not mean the same thing as vegan cosmetics and vegan cosmetics does not mean the same thing as clean green natural cosmetics either. Those are two different things. When I talk about owning a vegan cosmetics company and running a vegan cosmetics company, I do often get the question like, oh Kia, you've gone crazy. What, like what, what's actually you know, not vegan about cosmetics. And the fact of the matter is that a lot of our cosmetics has animal derived ingredients, if not even most of our cosmetics, I would say, um, has some kind of animal derived ingredients in them. And when you know about them, not only are they kind of gross, but it also just makes you think like, is this really necessary to, you know, have in my product? Let's get going. So number one that I want to mention, because we over here at Kishlotta, we run a decorative cosmetics company. Currently we're creating nail polishes. So when it comes to decorative cosmetics, you need pigments to create the colors. And one of the most common pigments used is going to be carmine and carmine is a red pigment and that is derived from cochineal bugs by crushing cochineal bugs and it is really quite gross if you think about it that is pretty much what that pigment is it is crushed bugs made into an eyeshadow lipstick or any other red cosmetic item that you do use and this is a really common ingredient um, it is quite readily available it is quite cheap and in the natural cosmetic sector this is also considered a natural ingredient it's really hard to find any kinds of red shade lipsticks that are vegan both in the conventional market and in the natural market as well because it always has carmine in it it's a cheap ingredient that a lot of companies use and it is also proven to be one of the most effective pigments to create a great red color but of course as vegans we don't want that our lipsticks or any other makeup or cosmetics item that it has crushed bugs in it. The next ingredient that I'm going to talk about is also a very commonly used ingredient in both decorative cosmetics, i.e. makeup, as well as skincare cosmetics, and that is lanoline. Lanoline is derived from a sheep's wool normally, and it is basically a wax that is derived from this wool. Again, it is accepted in the natural cosmetics industry as well, and is used often in the natural cosmetics industry. This ingredient is often used in things like lip balms or lipsticks or waxes or any other kind of more like hard moisturizing, substance such as a lip balm i think is a good example but also um, a lipstick where you want that moisture to come onto your lips as well and lanolin has just been proven to be very effective at doing that as well and creating wool and getting wool is actually a pretty harsh um, unethical thing as well where the lambs definitely don't have all fun and game when their wool is basically being shaved off of them you know again like in any kind of industry uh it's a hurry you need to work fast and you know when you work fast you don't work carefully and they endure so much pain and they are scarred okay the next and in my opinion probably the absolute most disgusting ingredient that is not um vegan that is used in cosmetics is urea which is basically derived from urine from a mammal's urine this is in most common uh, from cow's urine and you know i don't know think what you want of it obviously urine is an excretion and every animal human i mean i don't think an animal necessarily suffers because you're 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 getting that urea wherever it comes from and whatever you do with it is in my opinion just disgusting and i do not want to be putting that on my face and urea is also again um, something that mixes very well with a lot of ingredients and it's just found in so much of our skincare especially so not so much makeup maybe this time but of course there again do make sure you check your ingredients um, but a lot in a lot of our skincare this is used and again it's often a byproduct of the meat and dairy industry the fourth pretty common one especially when it comes to our hair care or even nail care is keratin which is basically a protein that also our hair naturally produces and keratin is often used in kind of hair strengthening products whether that be hair strengthening shampoo or conditioner or any kind of masks or anything like that and keratin is actually derived from bones or 
horns or even horse hair quite often so it is um, pretty much always animal derived as well and it is not vegan and the last one i'm going to mention here is going to be collagen as well especially these days i feel like it's all about collagen and having collagen in your skincare products uh, basically our body produces collagen you know naturally and as we age we do produce um, less collagen than usual and the less collagen basically we're producing or have in our bodies the you know easier we are or more prone we are to wrinkles and aging and that beautiful natural aging that that is as well collagen is not vegan this is derived from pretty much boiling the rests of animals dead bodies basically those were the five most common ingredients used in our cosmetics that are not vegan and there is a whole bunch of more ingredients that are used in our cosmetics that are not vegan but they're more rare and i think two obvious ones are of course also honey and beeswax and also we create nail polish here at kishwata where um, still sometimes but less and less the ingredient guanine is used which is basically derived from fish scales to create that kind of glitter or metallic effect on nail polishes i hope you guys learned something new today and now have at least five ingredients that you can watch out for to understand if that product on the shelf is actually vegan or not and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about vegan cosmetics beauty tutorials and all that kind of jazz as well and i'm super excited to see you guys in our next video until then you guys Bye!